you just know. put just put them girls on the Tiger Wood contract. That's all he got to do. <laughs> they come in, sign sign this paper, mm -hmm. and then five years later, that same person who signed the paper will be wired to the judge. <laughs> Throw that paper out, <laughs> right? So I can make a book. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was interesting, and it, and like I said, it came out of nowhere. Oh, it ain't come out of nowhere. I told you that move. I told you yeah, that yeah, move right. was going to do something. <laughs> right, but that's what we were saying. We was like, do you want to go to Milwaukee? Portland is Portland still, but if you all summer, you think you're about to be in Miami, you're looking for houses in Miami, you know, you may want to, um, when, when you hear the move, it's going to be going to, uh, what's it called? You might feel a little different. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I thought she was a divorce here, but he divorced. I was wrong about who did what. So right. something going on. It was always on the rocks. A lot of times, once you go to a new place, you want a new star. Yeah. And he get to put all his attention on the bucks and some of those paid women he going to be hiring. I'm mean, <laughs> right. hire and, and, and nothing wrong with that. Right. See, nothing I mean, wrong with me a couple. And, I, and I, I was just going to say, make sure he, he's still <laughs> an active father because... Just because you get a divorce, that kind of stuff does not stop. You know, you still need to contribute. You still need to be present some way. I mean, you know, he's a basketball player. He's going to be traveling during the season. But, you just know, put, just put them girls on the Tiger Wood contract. That's all he got to do. <laughs> they come in, sign, sign this paper. Mm -hmm. And then five years later, that same person who signed the paper will be wired to the judge. Throw that paper out. <laughs> right. So I can make a book. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see how America is, man. Yeah. So, and it'd be right interesting now. to see how Zion does too, you know, because he had a I rough summer. Told you. I told you, <laughs> I told you, Zion, this is gonna be the how many years to be in the league? This say just fourth year. Yeah, it's gonna be his fourth or fifth. <laughs> well, how many games has he played? He's gonna play twenty games. Uh -huh. Average twenty five points in twenty five mm -hmm. minutes. Watch mm -hmm. this, shooting sixty percent for the field. <laughs> he gonna get hurt going to the bench, getting a water break. <laughs> Out for 60 something games. Correct. There you go. Did you see where uh, I know we're about to wrap up in a minute, but did you see where LeBron said, look, the Lakers, this this AD's team. Anthony Davis, this is this is his team. What I'm giving him the keys. Huh? What else he's supposed to say, bro? You're supposed to hype your man up. <laughs> is What's that, that song? Hype your mess it up. What's that song? So I heard it. Up, it? Okay, so is that what he doing? Hell yeah. How the okay. hell is his team? He can't even play 30 games. <laughs> right. <laughs> so how many, how, what percent of games you think Anthony David going to play this season? 45. <laughs> and boy, and they that's a damn home. shame. That's a, that's a shame. If it's 45 on the back end, they winning the championship. <laughs> so he need to go down early and come back. <laughs> he need to go down early because... That man is 50-50. One game, <laughs> 40 points. Right. 20 rebounds. Mm -hmm. The next game, 15 points. <laughs> <laughs> rebounds. Then the next game, right. 40 points. 20 right. rebounds. Then and the next that... game, uh, <laughs> 12 points. <laughs> <laughs> right. And we said the same thing about Tatum. Like, he's a great player. He has a huge upside, but next game, he's awful. It's like he don't want to play. And you can't, you can't win like that, especially in the playoffs. Will LeBron James retire? Cur uh, Stephon Curry, he already 50-50. Mm. But it's, it's no more superstars in the league, despite what they say. Okay. Very few players. Like LeBron say, status, superstar? No, who say I can put 30 points every single game. Oh, okay, okay. I don't care. Ain't no downs. It's going to be right, like right. 30 points. Right. Ja could do it. It's, nah, it's not going to be pretty. It's, you don't think he could okay. do it? <laughs> it's going to be that strip <laughs> <laughs> he can't do it. Okay, so he, he may, may not, but I guess. He can't do it. He, he's out for 25 games, so that right. proves he can't do it. You're right, you're right. So, But I don't think people else. think about that. I don't even think people think about that because we get caught up. James Harden, is, he's not going to do it. James, he's, James he's Harden, done. 40 points per game. Next game, eight points. <laughs> right. Kawhi Leonard, not going to be able to Kawhi do Leonard it. Kawhi Leonard can't get in the game. F with Joe Hart and B. Right. 30 points, 15 boards. Tell me eight the next game. <laughs> he can't play. Right. Stephon yeah. Curry, great player. Drop 40. Then 25. Mm -hmm. Then 30. Mm -hmm. Then 22. Man, we need, <laughs> right. we right, need right. 35 points right. Every, right. every game. You see but I, I just, yeah, like Kobe or Iverson and LeBron, like you just don't have, or Dwayne Wade too. We talked about Dwayne yeah. Wade and, you know, uh, what kind of player he was. Like, that eight, that style of player is not is just not there no more because people aren't as tough as they were old in that older uh, class like the nineties the two thousand 
Even Vince Carter. Vince Carter might have been in his prime being able to give you 25 when Every he game. wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Tracy McGrady, same same way. But Every game. We don't, we don't have those type of players. I'm trying to think of anybody. Do, we do have those type of players. I didn't want to name them. Who, who are? Joker could be one. Yeah, but <laughs> do you want to see? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he could. He could stay at then he'll give you more. Yeah. Murray in the playoffs, mm. he'll stay at 25 then he'll give you more yeah but the, i don't i mean joke is joker a superstar like i don't even count those two as superstars those are great players though but somebody that can score and is like you want to see you are you trying to go see no. jamal murray you want to get a jamal murray jersey joker outside of uh-huh it's not the best player in nba luca is not the best <laughs> player in the nba we no. can figure out Somehow these white boys can play offense, <laughs> but they right. play no defense. <laughs> you, do you need to play defense though in the NBA? In the finals, you do. Okay, but can you can your team? It's like they don't they don't even worry about that so much. They worry about the offensive side some somewhat. Like nobody can guard like they used to be able to guard too. And, and there's no like hand the, checking, huh? The Nuggets can play defense. They it's can't just, as a team. Yeah, you know. it's just Joker who can't who can't play if all his players around him. Right, know? correct, correct. Yeah, so. Was, they, was, they was talking about uh, Dennis Rodman. You remember what kind of player Dennis Rodman was defensive wise, and Ben Wallace, like those defensive players. You don't really, you don't really see them anymore. Like, it, um, takes heart, takes heart and guts to play defense. Mm -hmm. At one point, I used Go. to call myself the king of defense, Brandon. You remember? That? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yes. Boy, that's a long <laughs> so, time. Look at me now. <laughs> Yeah, no, you 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 would deep somebody up for real, and like I say, you you have to use all your energy to to try to make a basket on you because you you ain't like if somebody score, you was gonna lose your life. So that's they don't that's play basket. That's basketball. a model. <laughs> yeah, no, bro, no, I, I can tell. tell. I can tell. I'm not gonna have to be out here on butterfly stretcher. Yeah, right, right. But do you think? Like I say, we had the conversation. I listened to um that podcast. We were talking about basketball. Bam out of Bayou, he, he, he you know he, he sounds like he's a tough player on paper and when you watch him but he he's not like those players in the two the early 2000s the 90s players like he wouldn't be able to go up against Anthony Mason or or you know the players like <laughs> right. but you remember or Charles Oakley and, and people like this like imagine Bam out of Bayou trying to d up Charles Oakley or some somebody can't, like can't that do it. You can't do it or Greek Freak. He, what do you think Greek Freak would do? And, you know. He can't do it. And we're not even talking about the most dominant player. Because, of course, Shaq is the most dominant player. But just imagine Bam out of Bayou or Greek Freak trying to guard Shaq. Can't do it. Can't do it. You can't do it. Just, it's just a different style of basketball. Mm. You contact, contact created your separation. Mm. Now contact is a foul. Yeah, you're right. You know, that good basketball, I was watching a clip that, you know, that uh, wonderful guy who used to play for Boston with the curly hair? Mm, and they used the to one make that fun got of injured? Him. No, which, which... old play. They used to make fun of him because he had never played in the game. Uh -uh. Tired of internet trolls, he issued a challenge to his haters. Brian Scalabrini got a oh. lot of money. <laughs> he was more of a cheerleader than an actual NBA player. Haters would consistently tweet at him saying things like, even I could beat you. So the nah. challenge was born. Haters could now go toe-to-toe -to -toe against one of the NBA's worst players in a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> pickup game. Every single person got absolutely stomped, and he reminded them by saying, quote, I may suck for an NBA player, but I don't right. suck compared to you. You suck compared to me. But did that stop the haters? Absolutely not. Nine years later, at the ripe age of 43, someone started to trash talk Scalabrini while he was shooting around at the gym. It was a six foot nine high school player that was willing to bet his own shoes he could beat Scalabrini in a game to 11. The final Ooh. score was a <laughs> kid box. The NBA pro got so tired of internet. Now, Brandon, most people don't know how to play basketball. Yeah. Did you see the slight bump to create separation? Right, yes. Oh, you Man, and that's, and that's the thing, like, you, <laughs> but we, we watch it on TV and we think we could beat these people. You cannot beat these people. Do you remember that basketball? Was it Muggsy Bowes who came to uh, Trenton Park that time and was shooting? I know it might have been with Eric, but I wasn't sure if he was there. He was, it was, it was, it might have been Muggsy or a, a different Charlotte Hornet player that used to play, but he was old and he was hitting every shot he took. Like NBA players, whether they're playing now or retired for a little while, they still know how to play the game of basketball. If you're guarding them and you you're not an NBA player, they're gonna shoot like you're not there. It's just like a wide open shot for the most part. So they know how to bump you, get the separation they need, and it's a wide. It's basically a wide open shot. So yeah, that on every move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not a foul. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, exactly. They're professionals. Time you had the bowls out. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know? 
and he can shoot too. He was a, he was a decent player. I, he's not he's not Sean Bradley, but for a white <laughs> look, pull the stats up. Pull the stats up. I don't up. know. I ain't looking at the stats. <laughs> he was, he was so let me. So who who why they couldn't take his job? He he was he was number one. He he is white. Okay, so he's gonna be in the NBA a little bit because of that. And he's in Boston. They loved him. I think he had red hair too, right? At one point, yeah. Yeah. But he was big. He could shoot a little bit. That's almost all you need to do. Play play some a tiny bit of defense. I but think he used to come in the fourth quarter when they was blown winning, and he'd come in and hit two shots or something. The crowd go. He was a crowd pleaser. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> that's not the only reason. Yeah. That's a professional <laughs> basketball player, that, why, and why, that's why. And that's why, why he, he feel that way, huh? Why did he kept Haslam? Why did he get <laughs> for 23 years? 23 years. Because <laughs> they can't tell. They couldn't tell Haslam, look, you can't come to the gym no more. What, what else Haslam going to do but come to the heat game? They and walk around Haslam. the gym. They did need Haslam, but Haslam need the heat too. No, he didn't need the heat. He was paid. <laughs> yeah, it was paid. It was paid but, but this is my thing. Sometimes you don't, you don't, you playing this, you've been doing this so long, you don't even know what else to do outside of that. Haslam, first year at the league. Mm-hmm. And his boy come out there looking like Prince. Oh, uh, <laughs> are you talking about Jimmy, Jimmy Butler? Butler. <laughs> Haslam, Haslam is his first year at the lead. Jimmy Butler coming there looking like Prince. You're he right. You're right. And you know th- those two did have an altercation, and they didn't. They didn't necessarily like each other. And and I know uh, what's it called didn't like him either. Um, Pat Pat Riley not not down with the blowout press. He 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 doesn't want because you know Pat Riley is uh, old older, school. yeah, old school. So he's he's like, look, Jimmy, this is cute, this is funny, whatever. But when it's time to play, I need you to play, and Jimmy gonna show up because that's what kind of basketball player Jimmy Butler is.